In actuality, these demons are fallen angels that rebelled alongside Lucifer who was once an archangel that defied God and created a war in heaven. After their fall from grace, each of the beings was twisted and transformed into hideous abominations. Their counterparts and rivals are the seven archangels. Over time, they grew strong and held dominion over all of hell, with Satan as its true ruler and Lucifer being second in command and official leader. Eventually, Satan began retaliation against God by tempting humanity to sin. As such, each of the seven princes became the physical representation of the seven deadly sins being, pride, sloth, greed, gluttony, wrath, envy, and lust. After the war of heaven, the imprisoned fallen angels decided they needed a form of ruling government in their new plane of existence. Some vied for power, but undoubtedly, the ruler of hell at the time was the leader of the fallen angels, the charismatic morning star, Lucifer. Courageous and strong, he made others bow before him through persuasion, bribery, or intimidation. For years, hell has been organized by Lucifer into the ruling body called the Seven Princes, in which the leading seven would rule over different, vast areas of their lands. Each prince was responsible for their own subjects and lands. Many enjoyed how organized this system was, though a select few hated being forced at the bottom for their others to be on top. The Seven Princes Lucifer Lucifer was cast from heaven by Michael and Gabriel, under order of God, a long time ago, and now he is leading and organizing hell to subjugate the earth, as a vendetta against God. Embodied, moral alignment, mirrored by, humility, Raphael. Lucifer evil being pride. Pride is identified as a desire to be more important or attractive than others, failing to acknowledge the good work of others, and excessive love of self, especially holding self out of proper position toward God. Love of self perverted to hatred and contempt for one's neighbor. Mammon. Amy was forced unlawfully from heaven which makes him part angel still. He trades knowledge for the souls of mortals, he was cast out by Michael due to severe distrust. All information into hell goes through him first, and thus he is considered the eyes and ears of hell. He appears as a visage of pure fire. Embodied, Alex Riker. Moral alignment, neutral evil. Mirrored by, Charity, Michael. Mammon, evil being greed. Disloyalty, deliberate betrayal, or treason, especially for personal gain, for example through bribery. Scavenging and hoarding of materials or objects, theft and robbery, especially by means of violence, trickery, or manipulation of authority are all actions that may be inspired by greed. Satan. Belial is a very cruel individual indeed. He has no qualms into forcing one to abide by his very wishes, or rip you apart when you yet refuse him. He was never an angel, made from the fires of hell, and he appears as two beautiful angels in a chariot of fire. Embodied, moral alignment, mirrored by, patience, Azrael. Belial or Satan evil being wrath. Wrath may be described as inordinate and uncontrolled feelings of hatred and anger. Wrath, in its purest form, presents with self-destructiveness, violence, and hate that may provoke feuds that can go on for centuries. Feelings of anger can manifest in different ways, including impatience, revenge, and vigilantism. Beelzebub? Baal, sometimes also referred to as Beelzebub, Baalsbub, had, like Belial, come into existence from the fires of hell. Baal is always willing to offer the mortal more, and more, and more, and to not share what they have, and to keep it for their own. Embodied, moral alignment, mirrored by, temperance, Samael. Beelzebub, evil being gluttony. Gluttony is the overindulgence and overconsumption of anything to the point of waste. 
it is considered a sin because of the excessive desire for food or its withholding from the needy. It could also include an obsessive anticipation of meals, and the constant eating of delicacies and excessively costly foods. Leviathan Arcos was once named the Archangel Arachiel, who, together with Ramir, Uriel, Samael and Azrael, led mortals to judgment. He was cast into hell, however, due to severe indiscretions, and since then, wishes harm to befall his former friends and all the mortals who have God's favor over him. Embodied, moral alignment, mirrored by, kindness, Ramir. Levaniath evil being envy. Like, greed, envy may be characterized by an insatiable desire. It's a desire to deprive other men of theirs. The punishment for the envious is to have their eyes sewn shut with wire because they have gained sinful pleasure from seeing others brought low. Asmodeus. Osmodi is possibly the most self-involved of all the chiefs, having long since fallen in love with his very self as the epitome of lust. Unbridled narcissism, Osmodi tempts and seduces mortal souls into loving one another and themselves over their god, twisting their sexual desires and urges accordingly. Embodied, moral alignment, mirrored by, chastity, Uriel. Asmodeus evil being lust. Lust or lechery is usually thought of as excessive thoughts or desires of a sexual nature. Aristotle's criterion was excessive love of others, which therefore rendered love and devotion to God as secondary. An even enduring form of lust could be love for the self, in the form of narcissism. Belphegor. Behemoth is the demon of sloth, and urges people to be apathetic to the misfortunes of others. He is the very cause to depression, the one who turns good men into indifferent creatures with no care for anyone but themselves. Embodied, moral alignment, mirrored by, diligence, Gabriel. Behemoth or Belphegor evil being sloth. Sloth is the neglect to take care of something that one should do. It is translated to apathetic listlessness, depression without joy. It is similar to melancholy, although sloth describes the behavior, while melancholy suggests the emotion producing it, 